participants and students. I am very happy to be here amongst you on this uh, so-called uh, MHRD AICT sponsored workshop or training programs or whatever you may call it. One is advanced in digital signal, image and video processing. As Professor Patnayak has mentioned that uh, in fact it is a very vast area that he has selected but nevertheless the three, all three areas whether you call digital signal or image or video processing they themselves are in a very very big uh, areas but now in the time when it is uh, everything is you know the complementing each other if you go, go back maybe about uh, 20 years or 25 years from now the electrical engineers were doing electrical engineer job the physics were doing physics job chemistry were doing chemistry job biology were doing biology job and there were no and they were all competing with each other and now the technology has come when they have to complement each other. Electrical engineers, physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, all have to work together. And that is where the nano biosciences is going to come up. In that context, it is very relevant that uh, he has taken all three areas together. Because we also have to learn over the years and the time to come how we, your vast knowledge, Sometimes it is a, a very educated person, when he delivers the lecture, he is not able to express what he really wants to convey to the student. I am sure many of you would have uh, seen this in your own life as a student and now as a faculty member. I like to see the good thing now, most of you are very young faculty and uh, you must have, I am sure, experience because our time was different. Now before I come back, so in that context this is a very good course that Professor Patnaik has taken up and I know Professor Patnaik and uh, Professor Luria, they are both of them a very competent person and uh, so the when I am sure they will do justice to the course. Now I, before, uh, of course Professor Luria has given you the background of this program. But I also want to take a little bit credit to this one. When I was director here, I, we made a program, Vision 2015. And in that we have given the provision that uh, training program is one of, one of the most important activity for any institute. And in particularly so in the present context, when everybody is crying, teachers are not available, faculty is not available, but nobody is doing anything. Somebody has to do something to find the solution for the problem. I was talking to somebody in AICT in different contexts. I have many friends there. It is good that at least I know them. And thanks to again NITRPTR because as a director, I interacted with the AICT, with MHRD, but little with UGC, but now I am interacting with UGC. So all the three wings, I am very familiar with them. So I was talking to them, and it so happened once I met Professor Agrawal, the Secretary of the Department of uh, Human Resource Development, and I mentioned him that uh, we made a document about Vision 2015, and that talks about that provides the solution for most of the problem that country is talking about that this is not, this is there, this is not there, that is not there. And I request you, I told him, to kindly implement that. Uh, and I had, I happened to have a copy of that, so I gave it to him. Then I also followed up with the ex-chairman AICT and now present chairman, Professor Yadav, who is a very dynamic person, though he is not from the technical, he is a management expert but still very dynamic man and then some advisors. So I do not know, I'm sure after that Professor Luria and these people would have given some momentum to it. In two months, can you do justice to so many programs? Not possible. 
we should not have the rituals of conducting the programs in the number probably. Because if you go, I, I was one of many of our colleagues were very angry with me, unhappy with me, not happy with personally, that we said we should train a large number of teachers. So he said, once you teach the train the large number of teachers, the quality will suffer. Some, and with their experience, they were correct, no doubt about it. But sometimes when you are eating too less, you get too little energy. So sometimes you have to eat little more to become more energetic. But that doesn't mean that you go on eating uh, more so that sometimes your stomach gets upset. Now, what happened basically is that uh, it is good to have more uh, quantity, more number of courses. But if you compress in a little time, you now the faculty is same. The same program has been organized by the UGC also. UGC also have been given the same directive, conduct 10,000 teachers training program to July, June, July, AICT, MHRD also, all are the beings of the MHRD. Now there is a need, why I am mentioning this, there is a need to coordinate more and maybe Professor Laroya can take it up because now I am not dealing with the MHRD. And this should be a continuous program throughout the year. Do not just compress for the two months, June, July. And uh, the, the uh, MHRD or AICT can uh, rather uh, emphasize the teachers that they should be, the colleges should spread the teachers. And I'm sure that uh, they will do it. And the other thing is that uh, I have been struggling, I have been fighting all the four years when I was here. Even after I went, I never left. I am old man, but I am impatient. I never leave the things probably. Sometimes it becomes irritated. A uh, fellow gets irritated that what is this fellow? He has no business, but he go on talking, telling me for nothing. Free advice, my purpose is. I tell them whatever I feel is correct. It is up to you, take it or reject it. But when you think, sit down and think that, I'm sure some of these fellows must have thought that uh, what this fellow is talking about. Is it all rubbish or there is some content in it? So if there is, if they find some content in it, even if the 10% like Laroya told, if you, even if you understood two topics out of it, the course is successful. We do not want you to become an expert on all the three areas, their vast area in their own uh, subject, use areas, but what we want actually to become an expert in at least one or two chapters in that one. And that way I am very happy that I was going through the programs that uh, Professor Patnaik has done uh, wonderful work as, it, as usually he does it any time given a task to him. The way he has formatted the uh, courses, the content of the courses, I, some of them, of course, some of the speakers, I do not know them, but I am sure they must be good speakers. It covers most of the area that can be thought of. And now, basically, if you see the image processing is not the, uh, I remember, uh, I just wanted to mention because there are some young teachers who also have to get connected to the history. If you look back, maybe about uh, from now 30, 35 years back, there are very few people who were knowing what image processing is. In 1972-73, at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, we first organized an international conference on digital image processing. First conference, probably in India. And we invited two outside speakers. One was from uh, Professor Rosenfield, whose was the only book, some of you would have seen at least their digital image process, introduction to digital image processing by Professor R. Rosenfeld. And even today it is taken as a Bible. If you have to see, if you see the most of the publication, you will find the, the cross reference R. Rosenfeld. And there was another scientist who came there. There was another scientist who was from JPL. Now what happens, that person did not get, because he was dealing with something image processing related to defense or the NASA programs, he was not permitted by the American government to visit. Last minute, his visa was, he was not allowed to go. Why I am mentioning this, that that was the status at that point of time. Now you think those things, if, you, if somebody talks in the lecture, 
probably uh, it will be lapping uh, material because they are so elementary, they are so basic, there are so many authorities. Whether you talk about the space or whether you talk about the defense, whether you talk about the medical imaging, they are so established that they are available to anybody and everybody, even on the website. And that is what the technology has grown in the last 30 years. Now there is an angel challenge for particularly young teachers like you. Now we are shifting from the, uh, to the nanotechnology. Nano needs another kind of processing, another kind of image processing technology, another uh, kind of uh, recognition to the uh, object. Because when you go to nano uh, region, the dimensions are so small. You must think of how do we take that challenge. I request Professor Patnayak that uh, you tell all these speakers, because I was talking to somebody in UGC, very senior man in UGC, the cons these courses, what you do is invoke the thinking process. For example, if I teach you jet transform, you can read from the book. I don't think I have to tell you what a jet transform is, and even if I teach you for two hours, that is not going to solve the problem as one jet transform. Similarly, all the three areas. Therefore, these courses are organized for you to begin a thinking process. Now, suppose this studio has been designed. I, I request Professor Patnaik, kindly give a lecture or ask some of your colleagues to give a lecture. What was the concept of designing this studio and why do we need this studio? And if some college, some institution, some uh, body wants to design a studio, how they should proceed with it? Because in time to come, there will be many studios. We are also setting up one studio in Kurchitra University to start a course on uh, Patnayak. I put this one again, a concept of Professor Patnayak and my also that uh, media and mass communication. And uh, I'm sure he also would start, but since I left it, and uh, he was busy with many other activities. So we are, start, we are trying to start in the Kurshetra University uh, Mass Communication Department. We are establishing lab. But a studio, but it is, uh, it is not that easy for them. They, are, they have to struggle. So I told them, go to Chandigarh and kindly see. I'm, I'm sure they have come and seen here. So leave aside this. What I want you people to see, if somebody has set up the digital uh, signal processing lab, if the other colleges do not have, these young fellows do not know. They have just probably passed, most of them must be a graduate or a postgraduate. They must have come out from the college. They do not know how to set up a good digital signal processing, digital image processing, or image processing lab, or for that matter, training material kind of thing there. So this course is probably, I request Professor Laruya that you must see that besides the technical content, let them not go much on the technical content, but if they can tell them how to set up this lab and initiate the activity, then they will carry over. Like I'm very happy that, uh, as Professor Lavia mentioned, that uh, the modular program which is started and they are carrying wonderfully. For a father, he would always be, he would always, he or she would, father always would like that his son should supersede him. There cannot be any uh, happiness to a father than his son succeeding him. That means son doing better than him. And I can tell you without hesitation that Professor Laruya and his team have done a wonderful job. I really want to compliment them for doing, uh, and I request them to carry over and uh, do a better than me. So somebody should say that oh, Bajpayee left this but they carried over, they did better than that. Sometimes I also feel bad that I left a little bit early because I still have some two, three program in my mind. I am, as I told you, I am old man, but uh, sometimes I keep thinking, keep thinking, bad habit, old man, so it's difficult to uh, stop them. But uh, I am trying also some of the things to introduce in maybe Ariana. Hopefully I succeed. If I do not succeed, again, I will go and talk to somebody else. This thinking process should always continue, particularly the younger faculty that you are. Because 
as I, as I have been speaking in many forums, we were lucky. Life was quite smooth for us. We got a government job, worked for 30 years, and we re uh, retired, are going to retire. But things are not going to be same for you people. Life is going to be more challenging and more rewarding also. Do not think that you will have a permanent job, a smooth job, and continue for 30 years and retire. Those who work, those who do the uh, excel in their job, they will live and survive. And time to come, as I have been telling, I am telling everywhere, in the future, there, there will not be parallel, uh, per, uh, this permanent jobs, nor many of you would prefer permanent job. You would like, I will do this job and go to this, pay, me, pay this much to me. You must demand that, that this is what I need. But that you can do only if you have capability, capacity, and the knowledge to do that. And that is where you must take the courses like this very seriously. I do, I do not want to extend uh, uh, between you and the Professor Patnayak and this. I will probably, uh, they have put me in the lecture, so I will talk to you maybe some of other ideas uh, after the tea time. I want to thank the Professor uh, Laroya and Professor Patnayak and thank you all. Particularly, I like to see the young teachers and I always feel happy to be among you. And uh, I thank Mr. Patnayak and Mr. Laroya and his team for inviting me here. This is my home. This is my second home or first home. I don't know. Our uh, permanent home depends how one takes it. This is your permanent. And uh, we wish. I wish you all the good luck. Make a mission. Life without mission is useless. I am telling you. When you go back from here, at least what Laroya told, two topics, three topics, three topics or four topics you take. All of you are very young. Work on them. They are the, they are the topic which will rule for another ten years. It is not that they are dead topic. And work on them. Keep feedback. Keep telling them. Now we have got technology which can tell you, which can, uh, you, you can talk to, sitting here, just now you go and talk to your friend, colleague, father, mother, whomsoever you want to talk to them. Media provides that one there. Keep talking to these people. Keep interacting with these people. Keep interacting with the faculty that you want. And if you feel I can do something, I am always available. But it is you who have to deliver. It is you who have to take it up. Go with deter determination and dedication. I will do on this. No, no. No uh, um, body in the earth can stop you. But if you don't want to take a chalta hai, why culture, theek hai, God only bless you. Thank you very much.